Hey y'all, uh, so it's been a crazy week, but um ran across this story about Cardi being offset being previously married last year um, in 2017. I guess she just decided to release it to her fans today. She wrote a note on Twitter basically letting the world know that she's been married to Offset since September of last year, 2017. So uh, let me just read you the note that she wrote. So she says, there are many moments that I share with the world and then there are moments that I want to keep for myself. Getting married was one of those moments. Our relationship was so new breaking up and making up and we had a lot of growing up to do but we was so in love we didn't want to lose each other was one morning in september we woke up and decided to get married we found someone to marry us and she did just the two of us and my cousin i said i do with no dress no makeup and no ring i appreciate and love my husband so much for still wanting me to have that special moment that every girl dreams of when he got down on his knee and put a ring on my finger. So just a quick flashback, just in case y'all forgot. Okay, back to the tweet. Little nosy fucks know at least y'all can stop saying I had a baby out of wedlock. Okay, and then there's a picture of the marriage certificate that's floating around uh, social media. I'm not sure if she posted that or what because I don't follow her on Twitter. So I, I totally don't know. I don't even be on Twitter. But um, yeah, when I first heard when I first heard the story, I was like, okay, whatever. I, I mean, I heard that rumor already that Cardi and Offset were already married, you know. But what made me go er, <laughs> is when I looked at the date, you know, when she said that she was married in September, you know, but yet he engaged, he proposed to her publicly. Um, the end of October, I was like, hold up now, hold up now. Now this ain't, this ain't really matching up. I'm not really understanding because how do you say that you wanted to get married um, privately? You know, you wanted to keep those moments to yourself, but yet he engages, he proposes to you and you guys get engaged in front of thousands of people. You know, it went viral. Um, she acted so surprised and just so like she was jumping up and down. She was acting crazy. You would have never thought that she was already married. Now, that's what's throwing me off here. It's everyone's entitled to their right to privacy. I get it. But sis, you can't say that you want privacy when it's, you know, coming to your marriage. But then you put on this big act of being in engaged when you were already married was it just for attention? Was it just so people could see that he put this big rock on your finger? Like, what was that about? Because in one note, you can't say, oh, I want our situation to be private. I wanted us to get married privately. You guys are invading my privacy. But then he goes and publicly proposes. Like, it's not adding up. It's just not adding up to me. That's a complete, you know, hypocritical statement. It just doesn't make sense. If you want privacy, have privacy. You know, say, hey, you guys eloped, you guys got married, whatever. Engage. He could have proposed to you privately. He didn't have to propose to you in front of the whole world. So you guys could put on this charade that, you know, you were fucking uh, engaged and carrying his child. If you were married, just say you were married. Like, this is what I don't 
understand about Cardi. She's young. I get it. We've all been there, you know, being young and crazy. But it's just like, girl, you can't have it both ways, okay? You can't want to be the center of attention and then be mad when people are in your private business when you're the one who exposed your private business. It don't make no sense, you know? And I bet you right now she's eating her words because if y'all recall a few weeks ago, she went off on Shade Room basically was like stop posting her stop posting her sister and honestly y'all i don't think i've seen any post of cardi b since i don't even think the shade room dropped this today i could be wrong let me know if i am but honestly i ain't seen cardi or hennessy on the shade room since cardi said that and it's like cardi you really gonna be eating your words sis because i'm just not buying the whole oh, uh, we're private and I don't want people in my business. It's like, obviously you do. If you guys put on this charade of an engagement, you know, just to fucking propose in front of the world, obviously you care what people think about you. Obviously you want eyes on you, okay? I, I don't know. Even breaking this news now, I feel like she wanted the whole world to know that she was married so she wouldn't be having a child out of wedlock. But it's like, why is that any of our business? Why do we care? Why do you want us to care? You shouldn't even want us to care because you claim you don't want us in your business. So I'm super confused. I love Cardi. Don't get me wrong. I believe she had like a beautiful Cinderella success story, but I just think she's been taking fame kind of, I don't know. It's, she's been taking it hard. It's just, it's it's been rubbing me the wrong way. The way that she reacts to everyone's opinions, the way she seems to have to like over validate herself it's annoying to me and I love Cardi's personality but then at the same time this is you know I guess the bad side of her personality um I also believe the whole you know need to disclose this marriage has a lot to do with you know other women that still may be trying to come after offset all right if we look at the timeline and she says she's been married since last year september we know that video footage and other images came out of offset cheating on cardi after september all right so we definitely know that he was cheating while he was already married so it's like you know good for you girl i, I mean congratulations for being married and all but it's just like it, you cannot gloat about being married and being engaged and are being engaged when you're really married when your man's out here running amok you know what i'm saying like i feel like the whole thing with offset and cardi it, it was just too much too fast i wish them the best i hope they do make it work just because they are already married and she already has a baby on the way but my personal opinion just being you know grown i can just kind of tell that like they rushed into it and when you're in that honeymoon phase which can last you know anywhere from the first few months to a whole two years like you don't really understand or see who a person is and who they're always going to be until you've had at least a good few years under your belt with them and it's like they ain't even been together for two whole years yet and he didn't already cheat it they didn't already fake the proposal it's just too much going on i don't i don't get it but congratulations god bless it's way bigger fish out here to fry i'm still hurt about the junior situation i'm still hurt about the state of this country and this world so this is just small news congratulations but i'm just over celebrities and you know shit mostly celebrities and people on social media trying to show off for the public like the thing that i admired about cardi was that she was so real and genuine so it really rubs me the wrong way that that whole proposal thing was so fake and staged like I don't understand the reaction if she was already married. It just doesn't make any sense. And now I'm kind of turned off. I'm feeling like everything is for appearances. Um, so, yeah, that's my opinion. Let me know what y'all think about the whole thing. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.